Well, time now, 515, and Juneteenth celebrations are happening all across the area this weekend. Juneteenth marks the ending of slavery in the United States. Here's a look at what you can expect. Celebrating and commemorating freedom is a big deal. Freedom didn't come for African Americans until June 19, 1865. That's when the last black slaves in Galveston, Texas, were freed. That's two years after the signing of the Emancipation Proclamation. I was like, okay, so what is it? And they was like, yeah, it's really our freedom. And I was like, oh, not the Emancipation Proclamation? Balaji GK was born in Nigeria. When she learned about Juneteenth, she wanted to provide a space to celebrate the day. She partnered with R.J. Stevenson, and they created Rock the Block. But there's so much of our history that's been lost. There's so much of our history that's been hidden from us. And as we find out how to do better, we're responsible for that information. Yeah. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. With nearly 200 local vendors and artists. Rolling with my lady. They plan to educate, commemorate, and celebrate Juneteenth. We want there to be a sense of heritage, a sense of legacy, a sense of freedom, uh, because that's what Juneteenth is all about. What it's about. Hey, Rock the Block Juneteenth celebration is at Ray J tomorrow from 3 until 9. Here's a look at some other celebrations. Tampa, they're raising the Juneteenth flag and having a festival today from 11 this morning until 2 in the afternoon. There's the Juneteenth Jamboree tonight at 7 at the venue on 6. The Shades of Pride, a LGBTQ plus and Juneteenth celebration is Saturday at 6 p.m. at the Factory St. Pete. And AfroCon hosts their fourth annual Juneteenth celebration Sunday at Perry Harvey Park at 530. We'll have a list of some other events for you on WFLA.com.